So this morning they've started escaping from the pen upstairs. And look how fast they are now. Hello Prickle. Hi <coughs> Flynn. Mrs Potts, that's on the vet bed monkey. Hetty's growling this morning. Hello Thomas. Hello. Oh, he's going for a run. He's going for a run. He's swigging his tail. Hello Uncle Waldo. Hello Prickle. Running around. Hello Flynn. And Gus Gus. It's being cheeky. Oh, Hetty and Flynn are running around. So they're starting to get up once or twice in the night for feeds with mum and then sleeping through the night. Yesterday we did three feeds, three food feeds, um, which meant more poos. Would you say the three foods settled them more in the night or not? Because they were pooing more? Yeah, it did settle them the first night. Um, I was just in there outside. Because yesterday was the first day they had three, wasn't it? Yeah, it was last night. They had two milk feeds and we're up sort of twice doing lots of food, so... Because they've had more food. Maybe, yeah. There's Mrs Growler. Hello, Hetty. Are you getting everyone? <laughs> <laughs> she just ran. Hello, everybody. Oh, we've got some more toys. More dangly toys. Oh, Waldo was watching you put that on. Mummy's doing poos and wheeze still, which is strange because she's just not supposed to do that at this stage. So, I'm so sorry I haven't filmed much in a few days. They haven't really done very much in a few days. They are just, you know, the same as they were when I last filmed, really. They're all getting a bit bigger. Um, they're all rustling more. You can see Dottie's getting prickle and Mrs. Fox is playing with this donut here. And Flynn and Thomas are too in a cardboard box. Gus has just got up from bed, possibly to have a wee. They're all weeing on the puppy pads. And Dottie's here. Um, but they've not really changed much in a few days. Waldo is here. Oh my god, Mrs. Potts has picked the toy up. She's walking with it. <laughs> you clever girl. Hello, Thomas. You want a little nibble? They're all teething, all the teeth are through. I think I filmed that the other day. Um, and they're very responsive now when we come in because they can hear and see us now. Oh, you got the sneezes, Mrs. Potts. So they all climb up like, what's going on? Where's me mum? Hello. <laughs> Thomas is so friendly. Hello, Waldo. Gus is trying to get in this bed. You can do it, Gus. Get your legs up, good boy. They love these that mum put in this morning, the hanging toys. They always love the hanging toys. Gus seems to be the most interested at the moment. <laughs> He's so cute. Um, hello Dottie. How are you doing? You being cheeky? Flynn's gone in here. Hello. Waldo. He's having a little tail <laughs> wag. Waldo. Hello. And Mrs Potts. There we go. Let me get out so I can see you properly. And Prickle Pants is here, and Thomas is here, the Goldies. And so playing. Hey, Thomas! Hello, Thomas! Hello, Gus! Gus, Gus! Oh, that is so cute! So cute! Hello! They're so fast, like Prickle just got all the way over there, so quick. Hello Flynn. Just a little slice of heaven this morning. Thomas and Waldo playing in the bed. 
prickles playing with a can filled with rice. Into a wrestling. Dottie is here. We've had to put this tunnel here because they're climbing out now. And these lot are all waiting for their breakfast. They're all done prickle up from. They can get out of here by the way. I can smell his breakfast. Jump down, Waldo. Hello, guys. So I'm just making the breakfast up now, and because they've got teeth now, we do it a lot thicker than when you saw the first time they had it. Um, it was like slop. But now they can actually eat it this thick, which is great. It's not like chunks, but it makes it cleaner. Um, they don't get it all over their feet. And makes it quicker as well for them to eat because it's not like slots everywhere so then we like blob around the, the bowl like each blob for each dog and then they tend to stay at their blob it doesn't always work at the end someone eats a bit more and a bit less but that's the cleanest way we've found to do it until we move to plates good girl floss there we go that's what they wanted din dins come prickle come flame Find a spot, Pickle. Yeah, Pickle. This way. That's Good it. boy. And they're four weeks old today, so they've been on food for a week today. And they're now able to chew the little chunks and eat it a lot thicker. without anything. Right. I've not given the rose raspberry leaf though to um, Thingy yet. Because right. she was just, you know, being peely. I've already dried you once. Did you already go back? Mm -hmm. Your boy's not finished. Flynn, you're covered. Right. I think you're finished. <laughs> Is complete. got different toys in now we've got rubber toys that they can like chew we've got fluffy toys 
He's enjoying this pear. That's our favourite with our flip-flop pups. Any of these little um, fruits. Uh, we've got tennis balls. Um, we've got one of the little cups from the soap powder. Always a favourite. So there's a coffee cup. Uh, a cardboard coffee cup. Hello, Prickle. We are teething. See, he has a black mouth. It's so cute. It looks like Auntie Maddie. See, he has black lips. He's so cute and a black nose. Um, but these teeth are coming in strong. He also has black paws. It's so cute. Um, Gus is going to show you his teeth as well. Wow, they're big teeth, aren't they? Wow. And Waldo is sat on Thomas's head. Um, but yeah, they're all teething. Um, they're all learning. They are four weeks and two days old today. Um, they're definitely getting more um, like wrestly between them all. They're getting more confident with play, um, which isn't a bad thing. Um, hello, hello. Like there's three of them playing here. Um, Mrs. Potts has gone so tan. Bless you. She's gone so tan now, and she was so chocolate when she was born. Um, but all her tan markings have come out like a mummy. And um, so is Dottie's, and um, obviously the boys were already pretty tan anyway. Um, and Waldo's, he looks just like his mummy. Um, hello, Thomas. The Goldies look as beautiful and gold as ever. Their ears are getting long now. Um, if you can see, the Spaniel ears are coming in. Um, and here, and uh, the chocolate and tans have gold ears on the inside. Um, yeah, we've got loads of lists of toys. We've also got an egg box, cardboard box. They love recycling. Um, you don't have to spend a lot on toys. We literally throw cardboard boxes in and they love that. This is basically what happens when you get in the great place. It's, it's fab. They literally don't stay long enough. This is little Gus Gus. This is sweet. We're definitely not here long enough and we've only got four weeks left, so we're making the most of it. Aren't we? Teething and all. We're definitely making the most of having them here. Oh! Are you chewing my jeans? They're already ripped enough as it is. Hey. <laughs> They're just lovely. If you have any questions about four week old puppies, leave them in the comments. They'll play now and then they'll have another feed um, of actual food and then they'll settle again, wee and poo and then back to sleep. That's pretty much the life of a puppy. We are hoping to get them outside at some point but we have a very cold September this year. Um, so if we don't that's okay. Um, but we have got jumpers for them in case they get chilly. Look at these two. Um, Oh, good girl, Dottie. But yeah, we do hope to get them outside at some point for some socialisation. But it's just so cold right now. It's like literally nearly frosty. Are you boys eating each other? Yes. Hello, you two. Look at these lazy bums. All fast asleep. So I've just been filming for the whole time and it didn't actually record but what I was saying was Mum's hoovering and no one is bothered by the noise Here's Gus eating a balloon uh, They're enjoying eating my dress this morning Mrs Potts is, oh no, Flynn is using um, Thomas as a headrest Not quite sure what Waldo's doing over here Hiding in the crate cover um, but yeah, they're not bothered by the noise of the hoover. Hello. Today we have uh, our friend Lindsay coming. She has two spaniels, but she's not bringing the spaniels today. And, oh, is your brother jumping on you? Oh dear. Um, Lindsay has met them a few t times already, but now is the time to be introducing more people and different people because this is when they're remembering um, what they actually look like. So. Today's a good day for guests to come and then we also have some families coming this weekend to choose their puppy um, and again it's great for them to be introduced to men, women, uh, children um, as much as you can at this stage because this is when they remember 
um, who they've met and they can actually see and hear them and interact with them. Um, so Lindsay's coming today and then we've got the families this weekend who um, I'm not 100% sure who they're going to choose. Um, there is a choice of four pups. Um, both of them are interested in a boy. Um, so yeah, so that's all we really know at the moment with the families. Yeah, so one of our puppies this time is going to a family that's had one before, which is so lovely when that happens because it means that they really like their pup and they want to come back for another one. So that's very exciting for us. Dotty, hey my girl. You've got your mama's walk, haven't you? The march. And you, older. More teethy. Um, while well, those teeth are coming through. They've been nibbling my fingers this morning on my dress. Dottie's got my dress at the back there. Hello, Dottie. Hey, cheeky girl. Biting your brother. You're not ready to go to bed, like everybody else. Yeah. You're not ready. What was that growl? Hello. Hello. Today is Sunday the 2nd of October and today we have, well mum has, reduced the pen down so they have a smaller wee area and a bigger play area and this is so that 90% of the time, well probably even more, 95% of the time they're getting wees on the paper so they're better with a smaller area and more play uh, because they're walking off for the toilet and it also helps with mental stimulation because we've moved everything around and they've got to try and find all their favourite things again. Um, Floss is just checking it out at the moment. The puppies are upstairs, I've not lost them. <laughs> um, so the pen's been rearranged and then it'll get changed again and again just to keep them busy. But this is it at the moment and all the extra toys are down here because they have so many toys. It's ridiculous, isn't it, Flossie? Good morning, babies. Hello. Good morning. Hello, did you have a nice sleep? Hey. Are you playing? Are you stood in the water, Thomas? Here, what's this? So they're enjoying exploring the new pen with little Dotty and Gus Gus, Flynn and Prickle. They're enjoying uh, uh, Mrs. Potts is chewing the blankie. Waldo's got in the bed. Um, yeah, they're enjoying their little pen. They're just getting used to it. Hello, Gus Gus. Here's the gearies. This is Mrs. Potts on the left and Hetty on the right. Oh my god. Hello, Gus Gus. Hey, look at you. You're so cute. A nom nom nom. A nom nom nom. A nom nom nom. Thomas has got an owl. So fun. <laughs> so cute. Dossie's just observing everybody. It's very quiet this one. Aren't you? What are you doing? Hello, princess. The girls and Gus Gus. Let me see his butts. Give me a little nibble. Hello, girls. Uh. 
Well, this is very cute. Prickle Pants has gone to sleep on me. Prickle Pants was chosen yesterday by his family. They're not set on a name yet, so we don't know what he's going to be called, but he's been chosen. He's very happy. So, as you can see by all the spaniels on the floor, they have started to outgrow their pen. They're all here underneath the dining table. Little man here. <laughs> Hello, Gus. Um, here's Flynn. Um, here's Mrs. Potts. So, today they will be moving into the kitchen because they're ready. Um, they're already escaping from here, and that's usually the time when they say they need a bigger space. <laughs> Brickle's gone to sleep under the dining table. So, they'll be moving.